we're done. I, I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I, I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Knife. I've got to get rid of it. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with the knife. Both of my forearms are cut, too. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your ID. Diner, that's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. 
If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. Probably a stabbing, from what I could see. Looks like it went down in the toilets. The murderer got away. Somebody saw the murder? No, nobody saw anything. Except for that weird guy who left just before we discovered the body. Any witnesses? Yeah, me. I was in the toilets at the same time the guy was. By the time I discovered the body, the suspect had already left. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's Coffee is the best in the East End. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. 
I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and, and left a nice tip. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. Hey, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find a bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives in toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. 
Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Garrett, Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was gonna keep us up a little longer. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Eh, uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Man, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. In case anyone comes in the room, I'll change the sheets later. My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that.
was wearing last night. They're covered in blood, and I'd better not leave them there. No condition. My forearms still hurt. After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Police, please open the door. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head, I, I must be losing my mind. Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Police are already searching for the man and will be releasing a composite somewhere in the apartment when I got in last night. Police, please open the door. Police, they know. They've, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Yelling? No, there must be some mistake. I'm alone here, and I was sleeping. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. Wow. 
What happened to your wrist, sir? Oh, it's nothing. Just a stupid accident. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. <laughs>